Hey guys, this is Naughty Chick doing another um, review. Today it is once again Hookah Hookah Evolution, the Green Apple. Um, I have done this before. But uh, back then my laptop was acting up and I kind of smoked it all and got some more didn't think about it till today when I wanted to smoke it because I don't smoke many apple flavors so I figured I'd redo the review for you and as in the title it's Tisha so it's the tea leaves and let's see if I can it's pretty much how it comes out when you uh take it out of well, take it out of the container it's pretty well clumped up it's just a little tea leaves the smell on this is like a really powerful candy apple just like it's all I get it's like a candy apple candy like a piece of hard candy or like mainly hard candy kind of reminds me of like the hard candy you get for Halloween, which is the um, the caramel apple hard candies or lollipops. It tastes like the apple in that, like real candy-ish. As you can see, the clouds on this are very thick. It did take a little bit to get it started up in producing. Uh, I do notice when it's first starting, I have to rotate the coal a lot more frequently than I do with tobacco. But when it started up, I got the same taste that I did when I smelled it, that real candy apple candy green apple and uh it was good like i was really enjoying it then as it started to go on i was getting the green apple with a licorice taste to it which i really don't care for licorice but it's not that strong so i don't mind But I do get like a real natural, like you can taste the tea in the smoke, which that kind of undertone I'm not really fond of, but it is a good smoke. I would purchase a larger container next time. Um, when I had the t-shirts at first, I really wasn't getting, they really weren't doing it for me. So I decided to retry the flavors I already had and then move on to other flavors because I heard some other ones were good, like the mango. I am using my 10 inch Zen Modern Hookah with the Genie Vortex. 140 millimeter three king um generic synthetic leather hose regular water in the base and i did have to have the wind cover on for about the first i say 15 20 minutes i did take it off because i was getting kind of like a burnt caramel kind of taste so i don't know if i was overheating it but it has even doubt I've lost that taste. I did just purge it right now. I don't know if you could tell. But. I 
I do get a very different taste when I purge it. It goes back to that original, the way it smells in the cocaine and things. But I'm not going to sit here and purge it the whole time. There's nothing wrong with the taste if I don't purge it. It just has that real natural, like, tea undertone. But the apple hasn't died out yet. I've been smoking for about 45 minutes. I wanted to actually get the bowl started before I did the review. But I would, if you haven't tried the Evolution line, I can say that I don't like blueberry. I did redo it. Like, I did do uh, Smoke It Again, if you have seen my old video. I really don't care for it, but I'll redo it and do a review of it to let everybody know what I think, you know, again. But it, Blueberry just wasn't my forte. So once again, this was Naughty Chick doing a t uh, t-shirt review, and I'm going to give the Green Apple... Uh, 2.5 out of 5 um, I don't know if it's just me but getting it started up the first 10-15 minutes is kind of crazy getting it working or getting it producing and tasting correctly the taste really not so much of the problem it's just getting it producing like getting it heated up I don't know if I'm packing it awkwardly it did, did turn out a lot better this time I did use a different packing method than when I smoked it before. But I'm gonna give this a 3.5 out of 5. Once again, it's Hookah Hookah Evolution Green Apple. And you guys keep on smoking.